Hey, what's up you guys, Skyless here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly throw your grenades to ensure easy kills. Okay, so there's this chart out there on the internet that you can find pretty easily that shows you how to throw your grenades the right way. And if you look here in the left column, this right here is showing you the distance at which the structure is away from you, how far away it is from you. And then these percentages show you the angle at which you need to throw your grenade. And then here, these columns show you how many layers above and below the structure is from you. So one thing that I do want to point out with this chart is that it doesn't show you how to hit a structure with your grenade if it's more than 80 meters away. Now, of course, it is actually possible to hit a structure that's more than 80 or 85 meters away, but the chances of you actually doing that are very low. For example, let's say if there's a structure that's 100 meters away from you, realistically, the only way you can actually hit that structure is if you're a lot higher up than that structure is. Because if you are a lot higher up than that structure that's 100 meters away, then it gives the grenade more time to travel further because it has a lot more time before it hits the ground. The other thing I want to point out is that if you look at all these percentages, they're almost all the same. They range from 80% all the way up to 90%. So as long as you're within 80 meters of a structure and you throw between 80 to 90%, you're most likely going to hit the structure. Okay, so moving on. So in this first example, I'm going to show you how to hit a structure that's two layers above you and 60 meters away. And according to the chart, it says to throw your grenade at 90% of an angle. Okay, so here's a structure that's 60 meters away and two layers above. As you can see, I'm on the base layer, the first floor here. And and this is actually two layers above, one, two. So if I look at the beam of light that's coming from my marker, and by the way, the only way you can really do this is if you place your marker. That's the only way you can actually um, decide on where to throw your grenade. So 90%, so if 100% is up here, 90% will be right about here. So if I throw my grenade, it'll hit the very top of the structure. Boom. Okay, so for this next example, we're gonna hit a structure that's three layers below us and 80 meters away. And according to this chart, it says to throw your grenade at 90% of an angle. Okay, so here's a structure 80 meters away. I'm three layers above, and I'm going to throw the grenade at 90% of an angle. So about right here. And as you'll see, it's a perfect toss. Okay guys, so now for a little bit of a different example. This structure right here is 60 meters away and one layer above. And according to the chart, it says to throw at 80% of an angle. But as you can see, there's brick here at the bottom and wood here at the top. So let's pretend that we have an enemy that's sitting here where the brick is and we want to hit them with the grenade. The best thing to do is to throw two grenades the first grenade is destroying the top, and the second grenade will fall in where the brick is, aka where your enemy is. So instead of just throwing both grenades at the same exact angle, what we want to do is we want to throw the second grenade at a slightly less of an angle than the first. So if I were to throw three grenades, we throw the first grenade at the highest angle, second grenade slightly less, and third grenade slightly less than the second one. The reasoning for that is because if we throw a grenade as high up in the air as possible, the grenades blow up in the air, and it takes three seconds for them to blow up. So if I throw three grenades into the air at consecutively less of an angle than the previous one, you'll notice that they'll blow up. Boom, 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 right? So let's just, so let me just show you. Boom, 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 right? So if that was a one by one, it would have hit all levels. So in order to hit this brick level here where our enemy, our, our imaginary enemy is at, we want to throw our first grenade at 80% according to the chart and our second grenade a little bit less. So let's do that. So 80% would be right about 100%, that's about 90, 80% right here, second grenade a little bit less. Boom. Did you see how the second grenade blew up right there? The first grenade blew up the top, the roof. And it also, I think, blew up the floor that's right here, and the second grenade blew it up right here. Okay, so just like last time, we have a brick level of the structure here where our imaginary enemy is. We want to hit the we want to hit the top of their head with this grenade. And this structure is actually three levels above us, right? So one, two, three levels above us, and 60 meters away. And if I look at the chart, it says to throw the grenade at 85% of an angle. Now, in order to get our grenades into this level here where the brick is, I'm gonna have to throw one grenade to hit the top one grenade to hit this, the, the next level down, and a third grenade to hit the brick level. Okay, so first grenade is gonna be at 85%, second grenade a little bit smaller than that, and third grenade a little bit smaller than that one. So 85%, let's see if we can get this right. 100%, maybe, let's say 85 is right there. Oh, 
Okay, that, that was perfect, you guys. You guys saw that, right? Third grenade blew up right here at the brick level where our imaginary enemy is hiding. Okay, you guys, so I know that you're most likely not gonna have this chart with you when you're playing a game. You're probably not gonna remember all these percentages. I mean, who's really gonna remember all this, right? It's not realistic. So two things to just keep in mind when you're trying to do this in-game. The first thing is make sure you're within 80 meters away from your structure. And the second thing is to remember to always throw your grenade at 80 to 90% of an angle. These two tips will greatly increase your chances of hitting your target. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. If this video helped you out in any way, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel for more videos. Thanks for watching. Peace out.